Today we're back in the kitchen with Cupcakes A Go Go, and this is Laura and Wade from Cupcakes A Go Go. And we're actually going to learn how to make cupcakes for a great cause. Tell us about uh, the cause that we're making cupcakes for today. Sure. The project is the Great Purple Cupcake Project, and it uh, supports epilepsy awareness. All next week we'll be featuring purple cupcakes at Golden Days Company Bakery in Sun Prairie and at Java Den at 1022 West Johnson Street. Um, all the profits from our purple cupcake sales next week will be donated to the Anita Kaufman Foundation, which provides research and epilepsy uh, awareness. So tell us about the cupcake that we're making. All right. Today we're going to make a three-tier purple cupcake, which actually was inspired by our rainbow cupcake that we call the Willie Street Special. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to mix a vanilla cake, we're going to add some food coloring in varying degrees of color, of lightness and darkness, and then we're going to stack them in the cupcake uh, liners and bake them up, and then we'll frost them and add some glitter and uh, glamour when we're done. Awesome. Okay, so where do we start? Our recipe calls for two and three quarters cups of flour, and it actually calls for uh, self-rising and all-purpose flour. So if you don't have self-rising flour, all you need to do is add a teaspoon and a half of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt to the flour per cup. And then we're going to start by taking two sticks of butter and creaming it. The butter is at room temperature. We're going to add two cups of sugar to the butter and keep beating until it's nice and fluffy. Just going to stop it for a minute and scrape the sides down to make sure there's no butter stuck on the bottom of the bowl. And then we're going to add our eggs one at a time. We'll be adding a cup of milk and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we're just going to add our flour a little at a time. And it's really important that all of your ingredients are combined thoroughly, but when you're making cake, you want to be careful not to overbeat the flour or the gluten will start to develop, and then your cake's going to be tough. It will be light and fluffy. So what we want to do is we want to take our batter and put it in separate bowls. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but it should be close. So what I have here is just some standard purple food coloring that you can get at a baking supply store or craft store. And what you want to do is add the food coloring a little at a time using a toothpick. You want to use a clean toothpick every time so you don't contaminate your food coloring. And do you find it easier to use the gel, the liquid? It depends on the application. Okay. Um, I like the gels quite a bit. There's also powder. You have to look for it, but that's nice as well. Depending on the recipe, a powder won't add any additional liquid to your recipe. So I tend to stick with the gels most of the time. And this stuff's better than the stuff you'd find in the grocery store because that stuff would just water down the batter? It is more watery, yep. So we're going to start with the darkest and move to the lightest. And I'm just going to take a spatula. You can always add color, but you can't take it away. I'm going to start with the darkest color, although you could do anything. Start with light and go to dark. The important thing is to just keep an eye on your batter so that you end up with a cup that's about two-thirds full. We have all three of our flavor uh, color layers in now. I'm just going to smooth the batter out. a little bit, but you'll really be able to tell once they're baked. All right, put them in the oven. Yeah. And it's set for 350? Yep, for about 20 minutes. Okay. Check them after 20 minutes. All right, now we're going to make the cream cheese frosting to put on top of our purple cupcakes. Uh, recipe is fairly simple. We're going to start with two packages of cream cheese and one stick of butter. If you like, you can add one teaspoon of clear vanilla for flavoring. Uh, we'll forego the vanilla today 
and it requires two pounds of powdered sugar. Those are our ingredients. And then we just start by creaming the butter and the cream cheese together in the mixer. And I start by creaming together on a low speed for two to three minutes until the mixture is nice and uh, combined. Okay. Once it's nice and combined and creamy, I scrape down the sides of the bowl just to make sure that I don't have any pockets of butter or cream cheese in the bottom that are hiding there, just to ensure that it's well combined. And give it another, another quick mixing just to combine whatever might have been hanging out. And once we're satisfied that it's combined, we'll start adding the powdered sugar. I do about one third at a time and mix it on low speed. Low speed is important because you don't want to kick that powdered sugar up into your face. You give it one final uh, mix and if it clings to your paddle, you've done a great job. We're going to separate some of the white cream cheese frosting so that we can color it. It's the same principle as coloring your cake batter, but you want to remember that with frosting, over time, the coloring will deepen. Uh, so you might not want to start out as with deep a color as you might think. Tip down, pick a spot, and make a circle. And there we have it. Another option is taking white frosting and making a white cap on top of your cupcake all the way around the outer edges and then rolling it into colored sanding sugar. And in this case, for uh, the Anita Kaufman Foundation Epilepsy Awareness, we've chosen purple sanding sugar. And with the white frosting, we're going to employ purple pearl dust with which to decorate and add some nice luster.